Welcome to Style with Trish. I'm so excited about today's show. We have ran our campaign looking for our queen for the day and we are so blessed and so glad that we have Jasmine Clark here who we're going to be featuring in today. We're on location, uh, be featuring on today's show as our winner. She's working with JW, who is our in-house stylist, as well as makeup artist, Fantasy Faces, came in and, and, and beat us both up in the face. <laughs> so we're looking beautiful. She's looking beautiful. We're excited to have her on here. But just to share a little bit, the reason why I selected Jasmine, it was a hard, hard decision in one sense because we had so many great stories, but my heart led me to Jasmine because of her personality, her perseverance, her eagerness, um, not to just do business every day, you know, every day, every way. Um, but she's also interested in helping others. And that kind of spoke to my heart. And so not only is she beautiful on the outside, but she's absolutely gorgeous on the inside. And so I'm glad to introduce her and share her with uh, you guys today. So stay tuned. We will be back with our queen for the day, Jasmine Clark. Every day a woman It's time to live your dreams. Nothing's gonna stop you now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Every day a woman Every day a woman Welcome back to Style with Trish. As I promised before the break, that we were going to come and hang out with our winner, none other than Jasmine Clark. Welcome to Style with Trish. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we were chatting off air a little earlier, um, and you were sharing with me your current occupation. And I thought that was so interesting. Uh, what is it that you do um, for a living, I should say? Oh, I am a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a registered nurse for 12 years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. So um, I love helping others. Mm -hmm. Like, it's my passion. And how you said you've been doing it for 12 years. What was what was it inside you that made you want to be a nurse? Is it, is it a family thing or was just I know you said you like to help people. Um, but what specifically was it? It is a family thing. My okay. mom's a nurse. My grandmother was a nurse. Wow. Yeah, but. I didn't cho choose the career. Um, I was working at a, a place and everybody said, you will make a good nurse. You will mm -hmm. make a good nurse. And mm -hmm. um, I said, let me try it. And wow. once I got into the program, I loved it. And it's not just jumping into nursing is schooling for nursing is, is pretty tough. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a, a wonderful thing. And and I wanted to share that part of your story because we talk about here on the show all the time um, how we want to inspire women uh, to go after and pursue their dreams. And it may not just be one specific way right. that you have in your life. Um, and so you are now entering into the beauty industry. Absolutely. Um, share the name of your, your uh, company and what products you offer. Okay. Um, I have her story hair. Mm -hmm. We offer luxury hair extensions and wigs. Um, I came up with the name her story uh, we help other women. So mm -hmm. we I have a platform where um, other women share their stories to help one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so and we're going to talk about hair more deep, uh, deeply here and probably in the second half, because I have zero clue <laughs> <laughs> about the hair industry um, on that aspect of it. In this industry right now, the beauty industry, just in this time in life, we're seeing a lot of um expressions with hair. I, and you know, I, I really want to get your opinion on this bill that just passed regarding our hair and how we've always been policed when it came to our hair as women. What's your take on that? I, I don't know about the bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's just the one, it's the one where we are not discriminated against oh, because, because of, our, of hair. our hair growing naturally out of our head um, oh, prior to um, now this bill that just passed, uh, jobs could deny us right. for the way that our hair naturally grows out of our hair. Right. And so that's the opinion that I would like, uh, for you. How do you feel about that 
it had to take a bill for that? And then how do you think we'll move forward from there? It shouldn't have never had Thank to you. take a bill for that. <laughs> never, never, never. In my opinion, um, because it's our culture yeah. is um, expression mm -hmm. and we should be free to do that. Yeah. So, and it's who we are. It's who we are. It's naturally. our crown. Yes. yes and, and that was one of the things that I love about um, and probably we'll get some resistance on this one, but that's OK. Um, we have always been guarded as women, you know, well, men will say, well, I don't like women with weave or I don't like women with locks and I don't like, you know, they have their say in it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. They Absolutely. have their, their say in their uh, opinion. Um, but then I always, my mind always goes back to the Bible and the Bible in the Bible. It says that a woman's hair is her glory. Absolutely. Specific. <laughs> her Specific. glory. Now, does that mean when, when you're married, you know, get opinion or well, absolutely. But ultimately, in my opinion, a woman's hair, as God said, is her glory. Um, so how do you like to rock your hair? Do you do, um, do you do all styles? You do braids? You do what all, how do you like to rock your hair? However, I feel, okay, <laughs> <laughs> and I will try a variety of things. I've okay. worn wigs. I wear um, leave-in. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, extensions with the leave out sew in with the leave out. Mm -hmm. um, I do. I love braids. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the beauty of hair. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's who we are, how we feeling at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's it's our as, moment. And as girls, that's how we we've always done play it, play. You know, play dress up. That's how we've always done uh, playing dress up. I remember, you know, my mom wore wigs back in the day and then it went, we went through a century or some time when wigs wasn't OK. And now we're <laughs> right back <laughs> to them being OK. Um, we were talking before about uh, the lace front wigs and mm -hmm. how that's on the rise. I mean, it's, it's like, that's the thing right now, um, that's going on. What's your take on just on that? We have a minute left before we take a break, but what's your take on the lace front wigs? It's the most happening thing now, you mm -hmm. know, everything comes back. It's, okay. That's not nothing new, mm -hmm. you know, but it's what's hot right now. And mm -hmm. if that's what you like, it, it's a it's a great protective style. And okay. that's what we're all about at Her Story Hair is protecting our natural tresses. Mm -hmm. And it is a great protective style. If that's what you choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, that's a good point. I want to touch on that when we come back from the break, because a lot of people don't understand our hair. Um, and how difficult it is to maintain your natural hair. It's mm -hmm. very important to have protective styles. So we're going to talk about a few of those protective styles, styles when we return after this break. We'll be right back. Every day a woman rides. Every day a woman rides. Hi guys, it's Dr. Cassandra Parks Evans, affectionately known as Dr. Sand. And this is your segment of Let's Learn Love. Hi, this is Dr. Cassandra Parks Evans with Let's Learn Love. We're talking about new careers today. You know, during this time, we've all explored different things, especially after coming out of COVID. You know, we, we figured out that life is different and we may want to do something different with our lives. We realize that life is too short. So one of those things may be a new career. But what are the steps that we do to realize if we want a new career or not? One of the things that we can always start by doing is thinking about what we like to do and what we love to do. That's always a good indication on if we are really wanting to go to a new career that that goes to something that we really like. The second thing that I always will say when it comes to a new career is investigate it. You know, find out what the ins and outs of that particular thing are. You know, try to find as much information that you can about it so you can come to a realization if this is something that you really would like to do. Something else that you can also do is once you realize that you want to change careers, invest in yourself. It may mean going to a college. It may mean taking a class online. It can mean, you know, maybe just shadowing somebody that's already in that profession that you want to know about. So think about your different options when it comes to your career in that form and fashion as well. But the last thing I will always say is before you make that crucial jump to a new career, make sure that you're financially stable. This is one of the hardest things that we realize once we take that step is I didn't 
plan enough financially for it. You know, there's a upkeep, there's startup. There's also making sure that your household is running as well during these times. So you want to make sure that you factor in all those when it comes to a new career. Let me know what you think at letslearnlove.com. And until then, love and blessings. Hey guys, this is Trish Stanley. Catch up on season one of Style with Trish by going to trishstanley.com. If you are not able to catch the show on YouTube, make sure you go to my website, trishstanley.com and check out our podcast. This is a place where the everyday woman reigns. trishstanley.com. And we're back with our second half of sitting down chatting with a uh, beauty industry expert, oh, <laughs> Jasmine Clark. We were uh, before the break, we were talking about the different types of, of hair that can be purchased from your company. Mm -hmm. um, share some of those because you, you spoke about bundles, oh. for, especially for people like me <laughs> who okay. have no clue, but bundles and the lace fronts and all yeah. of that. So we sell um, bundles. These are hair from one donor, mm -hmm. um, cuticle line that makes it no shedding and everything. So what they do is they weft this hair mm -hmm. um, onto a weft mm -hmm. and you can put it onto the hair. It could be made for um, quick weaves, mm -hmm. traditional so wins and you can also make wigs out of it. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So we, we do sell wigs already made mm -hmm. that do have the lace front on there um, in which you bond it down mm -hmm. um, or you can do a glueless method just depending on whichever method you want and mm -hmm. the hair in both styles are braided down you know mm -hmm. that's why we call it a protective style right. so you don't have to put the heat and the stresses of pulling on it mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. um, of course they all need to be put in by a professional yes. <laughs> And how I long? Recommend. Because I see some, and I'm not trying. I'm really not trying to be funny, but I see some women with uh, lace fronts, and it's crusted all on the edges, and it it looks really. Mm -hmm. cheap it cheapens it absolutely what people don't know that when you're wearing this lace front these are high maintenance mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. this is not something that you can just put on and leave we sweat we have makeup mm -hmm. you have to go and get it professionally installed and you have to keep the maintenance up on it that means going every two weeks or whenever that lace lift up wow. or being knowing to how to be able to um, fix it yourself mm -hmm. I don't like that laziness yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I understand that, you know, sometimes, which is main reason why I went to locks, because I think that's probably one of the lowest, the lowest maintenance mm -hmm. um, styles uh, to do, yeah. especially with being natural. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to try me one. Mm -hmm. I'm now that I, I went a little shorter. Yes. Um, I'm going to try one and I'm, I'm <laughs> surprised. I'm going to surprise some folks <laughs> to give a different look. But it's good to know that um, because I was thinking about that. If, if even our skin sheds. So if you're having this on your skin mm -hmm. and your skin is shedding naturally and then on top of us make wearing cosmetics and things Absolutely. I can imagine it and I, that's probably what I'm seeing that is exactly what you're seeing <laughs> we have to keep the maintenance up on the on the lace front yeah. you just can't just put it on and go no right you right know, it is high maintenance some of it is all of it actually is going to take some work Absolutely. period point blank mm -hmm. um and we were talking before about the protective um styles and the need for protective styles and it was mainly because our hair is so high maintenance uh -huh. well we've been taught our hair is is high maintenance and it is <laughs> um, it, 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 it it grows toward the sun thank mm -hmm. god it does <laughs> so there are crowns um but now the time is going um, on where we're uh, provided more products. We get we're being given more protective options other than just braiding mm -hmm. and, and um, the uh, the traditional wig. Right. What is your preference? And we talked about what oh, you prefer. Um, I prefer the traditional sewing. Okay. Um, that's where the hair is braided down and mm -hmm. the wefted the ha the wefted hair is sewn onto the braid. Okay. Um, of course, I always try to tell people I preach this. You cannot put these wigs and you cannot put the sewing in without taking care of your natural yes. hair up underneath. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend you seek a professional and don't forget about your own natural tresses mm -hmm. up underneath there. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's the hair, the sewing or the wig will protect it, but you still have to take, take care it. of yeah. it. You have to mm -hmm. take care of it and, and conditioning and, yes. and all of that. So now the hair, now this is the thing with me, um, 
my journey into locking, I went through a long series of braiding my natural hair and keeping it braided. But I have a lot of allergies and synthetic hair is one of them. <laughs> and so are the hair, cause I want to get a wig. I want to uh -huh. get something. I want to try something different. Is this hair now, is it uh, what we used to call real hair or is yeah. it synthetic hair? See, and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to start. I've been wearing hair extensions for over 27 years oh, and wow. I've tried numerous, um, uh, numerous companies, you mm -hmm. know, either uh, customer service, service wasn't right or the hair just wasn't right. Mm -hmm. So with her story here, I'm building a company that people can trust because they mm -hmm. do pass synthetic hair around and um, and try to pass it off as being wow. human hair. And you do not know until you put it on your head. I would mm. hate for you right. to find out, sick. yes, mm -hmm. that, you know, no, this isn't human hair. So mm -hmm. um, I went through the work. I wore the hair. Mm -hmm. You know, I sourced ethical companies, you mm -hmm. know, because <laughs> they get the hair off the floor. They mm -hmm. mix it with this and this with mm -hmm. that. So, um it's very important. So the hair that I use, it is 100% human hair, mm -hmm. cuticle line, one donor. It's not taken from, put together it by different things. Yeah. Together. Yeah. So and you do the hard work for us, basically. I've already <laughs> done that for you, Queen. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm going to come through you when I get ready to, to change up my look. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. We're getting ready to, to go me. right into your photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, real quick before we uh, we leave, the name of your company is, and why did you name it that? Her Store Hair. So, um, like I said, I've been in a beauty, I mean, I'm sorry, I've been wearing hair extensions for over 27 years. I mm -hmm. knew that I wanted to help women. Mm -hmm. um, I was coming off all this stuff at a difficult time in my life. Mm -hmm. And what helped me through that time is listen to other women's stories who mm -hmm. were just like me. Mm -hmm. It was at a time I felt alone, you know, I didn't, I thought I was the only person going through. And what we, what I find with talking to different women is somebody that went through mm -hmm. it just like you and mm -hmm. us being able to share that with one another really elevates us. Yeah. So thus came her story. Her here. story. I love, it. I love it. Thank you. So we're going to go move on to the fun part Yay. of this whole experience, which is your photo shoot. Thank you. All right, guys, we will be right back with the photo shoot. Every day a woman Every day a woman at this segment of Style with Trish, we are celebrating our queen for the day winner, Jasmine, Jasmine Clark. Yes. Um, and we're meeting up with our uh, on-set stylist, JW, who's going to kind of break down the first look that you're going to um, have Jasmine sport today. Yes. Well, our first look is a wonderful two-piece ensemble, mm -hmm. uh, top and skirt with a floral print, mm -hmm. very feminine but still strong. It also speaks to her um, her brand colors, mm -hmm. uh, which are um, earth tones and a little bit of color, so we get the pink and we get the blush. Yes. So this is our first piece. And and part of your rebranding, uh, Jasmine, is that there's a specific look and feel that you want um, to convey and be conveyed through your branding. What what are a few of those looks that um, or styles? Yes. Um, well, we wanted to be sophisticated, classy, mm -hmm. and this outfit right here speaks volumes mm -hmm. it, um, consistent with the brand colors and it's very sophisticated I love it our second look is our take on the power suit for the new entrepreneurial black woman <laughs> or woman period so we have uh, the traditional uh, suit coat but we have uh, embellished it with uh, fringes gold that speaks to Queen for a day, the yes. speak of queen for a day, <laughs> and it's going to be gorgeous. Yes, it is. And so this traditionally can be a jacket, yes. but how is Jasmine going to rock this? She's going to wear it as a dress. Yes. Oh, as a dress. You got some movement. Uh, yes. <laughs> because she has beautiful legs. We yes. were concerned about the shortness of the dress, mm -hmm. uh, but the fringes will help camouflage any uh, uncomfortable spaces or challenging spaces that we may address. So okay. we're good to go. All right. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see you in this one. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned. We have the new and improved Jasmine coming right up.
found out about the contest through a magazine. There was a publication, I think it's called Swagger Magazine, and it was posted in there. I was like, oh, let me fill out for this. This sounds good. <laughs> My experience with JW, it was awesome. It was organic. You know, I came in, I liked the styles that he had picked for me. I liked all the jewelry. You know, I got a chance to step out of my comfort zone with doing some things that he liked. And I really enjoyed working with him. It was easy, effortlessly. Working with Angelo, the photographer, was awesome. His energy was amazing. I like to say that I'm not photogenic and I'm a little shy, but he bought it out of me. You know, I think it's important to have a photographer that kind of gets you. Well, since it's a queen for a day shoot, what we decided to do is kind of get a feel of her personality. And once we find out that she's a bubbly, approachable person, we decided to shoot in such a way that allow it to match her brand with the colors. I'm a personality photographer, so I need you to be as comfortable as possible because it'll show up in camera and it don't look good. And then if it don't look good, people won't take heed to the image that you're putting out. Well, see, I, I allow the client to pick out the photos they like, and then I will give my input based off of that. If I feel like it's something just too far off, I will make mention because I do want to make sure that the client is in their best light, not only from what they like for themselves, but to make sure that the public will review them as such. I am Angelo Riley at His Images Inc. Photographer. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at the same name. Trish is awesome. You know, I just really appreciate her. I appreciate the opportunity. She's so sweet. Come to find out that we're the same exact sign. We're from dang near the same exact place, the Midwest, and we just hit it off really, really well. She's so sweet. I thank her for the opportunity. I'm Jasmine Clark, owner of Her Story Hair. I take the fear and frustration out of ordering hair extensions online. I can be reached at HerStoryHairCo.com on Instagram, on Facebook at HerStoryHairCo. Hey guys, this is Trish Stanley. Catch up on season one of Style with Trish by going to TrishStanley.com. If you are not able to catch the show on YouTube, make sure you go to my website, TrishStanley.com, and check out our podcast. This is a place where the everyday woman reigns. TrishStanley.com. Once again, I would like to thank our guest, our queen for the day, none other than Jasmine Clark. Thank you so much for hanging out for with us. and. Me picking and poking and prodding on you all day. Thank you so much. I also thank my team, JW, our in-house stylist, our in-house photography company, His Image Inc. Photography, and as well as the dynamic duo themselves, my director and producer, Mark Squared Studios. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We will see you next time. As always, remember that love isn't love unless you give it away.